Hi hey everyone, welcome to the channel. If you're a Harry Styles fan, we really appreciate you coming to our channel to watch us really kind of do a watch along slash reaction to this comedy bit. This is Harry Styles answering Ellen's burning questions. I don't know Ellen's talk show, so I don't know what this segment is. It's probably a recurring segment on a show. The only one that I've seen of hers on YouTube or on the socials throughout the years is when she scares some of her guests. I've seen some of those clips. Um, mm. But yeah, I don't know anything else about her talk show. I know who Ellen is, of course, but I guess she asks Harry probably maybe embarrassing questions. What do you think? Yeah, I don't think I've seen this segment either, like yeah. with other guests. So, so, so yeah, we'll find yeah. out what kind of questions. Maybe it's like are. fan like, questions or something like that. Like fans have put in these questions and they put them on. Where's the, spot. the craziest? Where's the craziest place you kiss somebody or where? Yeah. or yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, well, I'm sure it'll be funny. And so I'm, I'm, I'm always down for a good laugh. So this will be us reacting to the jokes and we'll see if we laugh or not. Shall we? Yeah. Let's do it. I'm going to read a question and you have to answer the first thing that comes to your mind, then hit the buzzer. Ready? First thing oh. first, boxers okay. or briefs? Oh, okay. I see. What shape is a brief? A, 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 <laughs> a brief is. Uh, boxers just, are like the swimming short. Yeah. Like, yeah. Brief yeah. Is, yeah. The, is the Ellen underwear. Do I hit this? Oh, he yeah. wears briefs. Yeah. <laughs> What yeah. are your three favorite body parts on a woman? Oh, wow. Mm. Um, eyes. Come on. <laughs> Smile. Character. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> come on. Body parts? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, what is it? Uh, what's a lie you recently told? The one you oh, just said. Wow. Yeah, the one he just said. Good job, David. Exactly. I wanted exactly. to play this game. <laughs> if you can't sleep in the middle of the night, what do you do? Uh, oh. <laughs> meditate. He's lying again. He's lying again. You, when you had your first kiss. There you go. First kiss. Uh, like I told you. Kiss, kiss. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Twelve. I think. Oh wow. Okay. What is your favorite curse word? About to say it. Is bollocks a curse word? Bollocks? Yeah. Is that a curse word? In the UK word? it is. No, but it's okay. Uh in the UK it is. <laughs> right? Yeah. Solid. Does the job. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of another one. Who is your first celebrity crush? Ellen. Uh probably Jennifer Aniston. Wow. I think. What's your biggest fear? Dying. Oh, that's real. Dying? That was the truth. That was dark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the most famous person in your phone? Oh. Shelly Azoff. <laughs> Who's that? Love that? Are you dating anyone? <laughs> no. What would your signature fragrance again. be called? Mm -hmm. Boxes or briefs? <laughs> <laughs> What's your guilty pleasure? Uh, working out to One Direction. <laughs> no, he doesn't do that, but it's funny. No. <laughs> it's funny, though. Have you ever been in yeah. Yes. Oh. Name uh, your favorite music video of all time. Oh, wow. Sledgehammer Peter Gabriel. Oh, nice. Ooh, if you weren't a singer, job. what job that was would the you truth. want? A florist. Oh. Wow. When you're alone in a car, what song do you play? Sledge okay. Cheryl Lynn no. got to be real. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Have you ever forgotten the lyrics to your own song while on stage? Yes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Yeah. You, did, you did a good job. Thank you. Yes, we're done. Oh, oh yeah. That's it? We should, Nathan, what we should do really quickly, really quickly. Let's just mm. mute it. Okay. Uh, do you want to answer it? I, I, why? I want them for you. I want. I got a couple for you. Not all of these. Let's just go. <laughs> I like this one. I'm, I'm curious for you. No, I'm being serious here. I won't necessarily. I'll, I'll, I'll answer this part if you, or if you don't want to answer, because obviously, yes, I, I'm a chess guy. So chess, yeah. So that aside, you know what? The I find one of the sexiest thing of a female. Hmm. So there's three, right? So to me, one of the sexiest things on a female. Is mm. this part here the uh, the clavicle area? This area. Mm. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. Not not the cleavage, just the neck mm -hmm. 
and the clavicle part of a female. I find that very sexy. Hmm. And regarding hmm. the face, you know which part of the face I like the most? I think you know. Uh, the nose. Oh, really? Okay. I like a I like a good nose on a girl. Yeah, yeah. There's something about a nose. Uh, mm. Usually, it's a unique nose. For example, uh, 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 one that comes to mind is a Sarah Michelle Geller. Very, mm. very uh, unique nose. So, uh, a unique nose, sexy clavicle, and uh, yeah, the other one. Boobs. Right. Well, um, it doesn't have to be big or anything, but definitely a shape and size for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's sort of attached to the clavicle, but, a, but there's something about this part of the female I love. Yeah. What, what about you? Mm. Uh, eyes are a big one for me. Um, mm -hmm. Like, uh, what's her name? Diodaro. Diodario. Uh, she's got those like, uh like almost like light light blue eyes they're just well oh, they're i just feel like i could stare at her all day long she's just got this sure. really like entrancing look to her um and then, and then yeah obviously boobs boobs are great wow. boobs are fantastic <laughs> God, i love them it's just they are just fantastic. You, you can rest your head on them when you snuggle. You can you can motorboat them. You can you can lightly kiss them. All right, there and other stuff. We'll keep it on PG. Um, Nathan, how old were you when you had your first kiss? Uh I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure how exactly sure. old like i think i was 12 but i'm pretty sure i was wow 11. for you the, the she said the real kiss like the, the kind of that real kiss not the yeah yeah and it okay. was oh, wow. it was this girl that wow. like this girl like she kissed me and i was like what's going on and i just kind of right okay kissed back um i liked it look at you yeah I wasn't much older, but I was older. I was a teenager. Uh, my first real kiss was I was 14, almost 15. It was 1990. Okay. So I was almost 15. It was just before. It was the it was the start of the school year. So it was the 10th grade. And my mm -hmm. 15th birthday was in October. And I was dating. Remember Mindy? Mm -hmm. Oh, remember oh Mindy? yeah. 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 <laughs> she was my first girlfriend. And oh, yeah. I, I, I kissed her when I walked her home from school. We were boyfriend and girlfriend. And I was my first real kiss. I'm like, oh my gosh, here I go. I've never done this before. And you're like, <laughs> yeah, you're like, like every hormone you have is like, put them oh, right around my lips, put them right there. I remember my first yeah. kiss because it's such a memorable thing. And just opened in the mouth, and I did every. We did our tongue and everything. We were like, oh, go no. time. Oh yeah, that this took was me a while to figure wah, that out. Wah, but, wah, yeah. wah, wah, wah. <laughs> 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 oh, you can do any more it of was these? fantastic yeah well, just a couple i just like some of these um curse right now who cares uh I, I there's a couple that i was curious about you for real oh yeah what's your mm. biggest fear my my mm, my biggest fear you don't have to want to share you don't have to share if you don't want to <sighs> my biggest fear i don't know i'm okay. i'm not really afraid of heights or do you have a phobia yeah or... so there's two types of fears do you have do you have any legit phobias like legit phobias well i, I shouldn't of? say that i am afraid of heights i actually am afraid of heights believe it or not um even though i like rappelling and rock climbing and doing all those things mm. i'm still afraid of heights um it's not my biggest fear though like hmm. yeah my my well my biggest fear would be enclosed in small spaces like okay, so a bit of claustrophobia in you. Yeah, that's no. a phobia yeah. for sure. Yeah. Uh, I have the type of fear of heights that's a phobia. You might have a healthy respect of heights. Mm -hmm. I have heights that stops me from doing things that you would do, despite your fear, as you would say. Mine's strong enough that I won't do those things. I I can't mm -hmm. face them. I'm too afraid. So mm -hmm. I there's so I'll go on a roller coaster. Any day of the week, mm -hmm. no matter what roller coaster in the world, I'll tackle Ugh. any roller coaster. I'll go on an airplane. I don't care. Climb a, a 15 foot ladder. My, my knees are buckling. Mm -hmm. So I hate it, it's coasters. that. Yeah. Uh, but for fear, honestly, this is going to sound really like cliche or whatever. My, my biggest fear is um, just being a disappointment to uh, my wife and kids. Like when mm -hmm. I'm dead and buried, they're like, and like in the sense of, did I do enough with them? Did I do enough mm. for them? Uh, a life of regret. Now we all make mistakes. We all blah, blah, blah. But you know, just a mm. life of regret where 
no, mm-hmm. we could all spend our life better throughout the day. That's normal human behavior. But just when I'm dead and buried and hopefully a long time from now that my wife and kids will bury me in the sense of like, yeah, rest mm-hmm. in peace, father, rest in peace, husband. Okay. What would your um, signature fragrance be called? Oh, fat spunk. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness <laughs> what would yours be called <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no <laughs> it's okay. like... what's the next question <laughs> I can't think of it uh, guilty pleasure yeah. My my probably is just eating bad food when I know I really I know again it's cliche that's probably really one of the biggest guilty pleasures that I have is eating food I know I really shouldn't eat behind especially behind my wife's back I will literally I will food cheat on my wife oh yeah yeah I will <laughs> I like during Halloween when she's not looking I I, I grab so much Halloween candy in October that she wasn't aware of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the good thing she does. It's a good thing she doesn't listen to this uh this this channel. Do you have a do you have a do you have a guilty pleasure? Uh, yeah, energy drinks. That's kind of my. Oh, sure. Yeah, that's legit. Yeah. That's a guilty pleasure. Yeah. Um, alone in a car. What song did you? Actually, I'm curious. I well, I kind of know what you would say. But... Well, it's tough because I I don't know about song. Um, but what this means, I think what this means is it's a song that you would play loud in the car and nobody else is. If your buddy was in the car with you, you probably like, "Ah, I'm not playing this in front of Nathan. This this is almost like a guilty pleasure song, really. Yeah. Um, I think for me, it's an artist for sure. A duo, which I've loved since I was a teenager. So I was into this group, even when I was a teen and I was listening to heavy metal and I was listening to Guns N' Roses, Aerosmith, ACDC. But then I was like, I like Roxette. (laughs) <laughs> you know, I I, I love them. On that. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I love them. I still love them. And may she rest mm. in peace, Mary, the lead singer. But uh, yeah, so yeah, I, I definitely a kind of a, a hidden guilty pleasure. I played rock set all the time. I Walkman, and but I, I rarely mm. advertised it because I was embarrassed because it was a pop rock, a pop duo. But yeah, yeah. Mine's uh, uh, choral music, C H O R A L music. Um, and uh, specifically, it would be like uh, Eric Whitaker uh, stuff. I've shown you oh, one. Yeah, Eric yeah, yeah, before, no, it's yeah. beautiful music. That's beautiful music. Yeah, yeah I, well, yeah. I, you wouldn't have to be alone, Nathan. I would do that with you. Well, thanks, yeah. Nathan, for doing burning questions with your best friend. That was fun. <laughs> I hope Sam doesn't mind that we kind of hijacked that a little bit. So, yeah, yeah, that was right. fun. Thanks for uh, giving us that request that uh <laughs> us to laugh a little bit and and even get a little sense of what harry's like a little bit under the hood it's funny how he a lot of those you feel like ah he's lying <laughs> he's lying yeah i know <laughs> uh yeah that was great thanks everybody for joining us and uh we will see you on the next one <laughs>